Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video. Alright, so as you can see on my screen, I have uh, a total of eight images here. These were the picked from um, the shoot that I did. These are my favorite images. And let me just show you them real quick. I was actually testing my new camera, which is a Sony A7C. And I was shooting with the 85mm lens, which is the Samyang lens. I was shooting at 1.4 as you can see here. And my shutter speed was really, really low because I wanted to get more light in the background. And I never wanted to um, bring my ISO too high. I didn't want to be higher than 200. Alright, so these are my favorite picks from the entire session. So I'm going to start with, um, I'm not going to be editing all the images in this video, but I'm going to start with um, I don't know which image to start with. I may just, you know what, I'm just going to start with this one. All right, so I'm just going to right click and go to edit, edit in Photoshop. All right, good. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom the image up and then I'm going to be removing any blemishes or anything from the skin that I don't want. So I'm going to create a copy, bring this down here. And then using the patch tool, I'm just going to remove any blemishes or anything that I don't want on the, uh, the um, image itself. So I was shooting with, I was using flash as you can see the light is lighting up the model. I was using the Godox, well, it's not Godox, it's the Flashpoint um, AD600 or Flashpoint 600. That's what I was using. And yeah, I really got, I got some really nice shots from the session and I really love this camera. So yeah, so I am done with removing the blemishes. I'm just going to scroll down a little bit. And then what I'm going to do now is to go to frequency separation. You can check the link in the description for the action to download. All right. So I'm going to keep my radius at 6.4. And then I'm going to go here to the low frequency layer. Then I'm going to come over here to the mixer brush. I'm going to press on the mixer brush. The mixer brush is normally under brushes. If you hold on on brushes, you'll see the mixer brush directly under it. Once you see this little arrow right here, it means that something else is under it. For the mixer brush settings, my width is at 2, uh, 20, um, load is 75, mix is 90, flow is 100, and just ensure, ensure that this is clicked and this is white, all right? So all I'm going to do, I'm just going to zoom the image up, and then I'm just going to uh, click, and but I'm just going to paint, basically. So I'm just going to do that. What the mixer brush does, it flattens the skin and it brings everything together. All right. And if an area is dark, you can just paint from the dark area to the bright area. I mean, from the bright area to the dark area and it will lighten up the image. I don't want my image to look fake, so I keep my radius high. All right. So what I'm doing, I'm just painting in the dark area separated from the um, bright area just to blend out everything. That's all I'm doing. All right, so let's look at the before and after so far. So before, after. Just a subtle change. You don't want it to look fake at all. So just getting everything together. So let's look at the before and after for the belly. Good. So I'm going to come down here. So editing is really, really easy, to be honest with you. And once you do it a lot of times, it's going to come like, you know, it's nothing. Yeah.
you want to ensure that you don't mix where you have any um, tattoos or anything like that because that's going to ruin the image. Good. So I think I am done. So let's look at the before and after for the lower part here. So before, after. Good. All right. So I am done with the mixer brush. What I'm going to do now is to get the, I'm going to do some dodge and burning now. So up the top here, let me just minimize this. I'm going to go to um dodge gonna press b on the keyboard for my brush ensure that my flow is at one percent my opacity is at uh 100 and i'm using a soft rounded brush all right so i'm just gonna paint the highlighted area or any area that is dark and i may want to just brighten it a little bit so like right here where the light was hitting like that could maybe do the side right there as well because i want the image to pop good let's look at the before and after for that so before after I don't think I need to do any burning. I think I'm good. There's a line right here. You may want to just brighten it a little bit. All right, so I think I'm good with that. So what I'm going to do is to color grading. But before I do the color grading, I'm going to, you know what? I'm just going to go straight up to color grading. So I'm going to do some color grading right now. So I'm going to create a new layer. So uh, Control Shift Alt E, and that would be Shift Option Command E on the Mac. And then I'm going to create a duplicate. And then I'm going to go to Camera Raw by going to Filter, Camera Raw. All right. Then I'm going to look at some of the presets that I've created to see if anyone can actually work with this. So I'm going to come right here to the preset um, option. And then I'm going to click on this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. I don't think I like, well, this one looks good. But I think I want to make my own. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to press auto. And then hmm, auto. You know what? Let me try auto and then try one of these. I think I could work with this one. All right. I'm going to select that one. No. I'm going to create my own. So I'm going to go back to um, camera raw on that and then I don't, i'm not going to do auto i'm just going to go basic and then i'm going to turn up the shadows so basically in the background the background is a little bit dark so when i do shadows it will lighten the background a bit and then i'm going to do white just a little bit like that i'm going to go to blacks so i can you know get back some black in the outfit just a little bit like that uh, I'm gonna play with the temperature a little bit like right there so you can see over here the original you can see what I'm making what, what adjustments I'm making on this side I'm gonna go down to dehaze and bring up dehaze a little bit like that good then I'm gonna go to color mixer I'm under the hue let me see you have color and you have HSL. So I'm under the hue option here and I'm gonna play with the yellow. And that controls the background color. So I'm gonna do that. Then I'm gonna go with green. Yeah, I think I wanna pump the green in. Uh, I'm gonna go to saturation 
and then play with the green again and the yellow that looks good then i am done with that so i'm going to go down here to the where it says collaboration click on that and then i'm going to go down to here to the blue primary and i'm going to make adjustment to the model's skin that looks good so you don't want to add too much you just want to add a little each time when you're applying colors all right so i think i'm good with that um don't think i need to do anything else i'm gonna press ok good so let's look at the before and after even though you were seeing the before and after just now but before and after color grading all right so the next step now is to crop the image for instagram so what you want to do is to ensure that when you're cropping when you click on the c for crop tool you click on four to five ratio which is eight by ten in inches and you just crop the image to what you want so you can upload it to instagram all right so let's see if i can fine tune some part of this image um i'm still gonna i'm gonna go back to dodge again and then some of these dark areas i'm just gonna paint it just lighten up the image a little bit all right that looks good i don't think i need to do anything else looks good we'll just brighten here a little bit and here maybe under the neck so sometimes when you think that you're finished <laughs> trust me you still may have a few more adjustments to make all right so i think i am done just gonna clean our eyes a little bit so i'm gonna click here for clean teeth and eyes i'm still on the brush so i'm just gonna move this up to about 18 lower the opacity or the size of the brush sorry and just paint the eye and the teeth what i could do i'm gonna go back down to this layer here i'm gonna get my patch tool and I'm going to remove some more blemishes. Which is why it's good for you to zoom up in the images at time. Because you might miss certain things. Oh, and she did her own makeup. Yeah. All right, so I think I am done. What I could add though, I have blue in shadows. Let me add that and see what it looks like. Don't think I like that. I'm gonna add um, color lookup and then lower the opacity and see if I like it. Ah, uh, I think I could use that. I could brighten this image a little bit more though. What do you think? I'm gonna go to adjustments and go to curves and then just bring it up a little bit like that perfect so that is it for the image all you have to do now is to go to um, filter then go to export save for web and you're gonna change this to 1080 and then you save it and once you save it you can upload to Instagram and it gives you the best quality so thank you guys for watching and stay tuned next week for another video. Bye-bye.